Big, bald cop with a wicked sense of humor and a crooked smile. Not everyone could be worthy of the nickname Meat, but Officer Lauren Ahrens sure was. Tomorrow marks one year since a gunman ambushed police downtown, killing five officers, including Ahrens. As the city moves forward, his friends reflect on a life cut too short. Here's News 8's Tanya Iser. <laughs> This is a samurai, and he is crying. Tattoos tell a story. Five silhouetted skulls around it. This one pays tribute to the five police officers killed last July. In kanji, it is the date 7-7-16. Several cops got memorial tattoos from tattoo artist Deborah Pittman. You know, tattoos are an, an outward expression of what you feel inside. But there is one she wasn't able to finish. On his neck, which was for the love of his life, Katrina. The one for her friend, Senior Corporal Lauren Ahrens. His wife, Katrina, is a police detective. They were married for 13 years. There's a lot more that that person had besides a tattoo to finish. Life was just really getting started for the Ahrens family. Proud Papa, right there. Joe King and Jaime Castro first got to know Aaron's when he was a young cop at Southeast Patrol. And he loved, loved being a Dallas cop, but he loved more being a husband and a parent. Aaron's was well known for his salty sense of humor. A big, goofy, hulking badass. Castro knew it was bad when he saw the shot up squad car at Baylor. I knew it was gonna be somebody that I, that was close. A police major said Aaron's was in surgery. I said, who was with him? Um, he said, nobody, and I said, can't be there alone. He's not going to be there alone. And I said, I got to be by his side. Aaron's would have been by his brother's side if it was them in the hospital. Just epitomizes him. Big enough to break burglar bars off a house. Bigger than the car door, that, that pretty much defines Lauren. He served 14 years on the Dallas police force. I still can't imagine that he's gone. Pittman is raffling tattoos for charity in Aaron's honor. Work, family, and tattoos. Keeping his memory alive. Seven, seven, and the five officers. With tattoos like this, along with the story of the Dallas Five. Tanya Iser, Channel 8 News.